Hello, and welcome to today's Saratech Customer Enablement Series. My name is Sarah Itsugi, and I'm the Marketing Coordinator at Saratech, and I'll be your host today. Presenting today, we have Saratech Technical Manager, Chad Evans, and he'll be talking to you about how to access your Saratech support and engineering services options. All right, hi, Chad, thanks so much for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at Saratech? Sure, Sarah. Well, again, my name is Chad Evans. I just noticed I didn't put my email up there, but uh, if anyone does want to email me in the future too, my email is cevans at saratech.com. I am one of the technical managers here at Saratech. So a little bit about, about my background is I've been with Saratech for seven years. Prior to that, I worked for a couple other business partners, Siemens business, business partners I didn't place up there, but I've got a strong aerospace and automotive background. So I did five years at General Motors, eight years at Chrysler, and I'm also former U.S. Air Force. So I was actually a nice aircraft mechanic, uh, a crew chief on a KC-135. I'm also one of the NX CAD trainers here at Saratech. So most of the time, if you're calling in for support, uh, I do cover a lot of the NX cases, the solid edge cases, any type of licensing, it always comes to me. Some of the agenda today that I want to talk about is looking at the new Siemens Support Center. So we're going to talk a little bit about overview on that. We've had a lot of questions lately. You know, how do I get into it? How do I download software? It seems like in a daily occurrence, I get an email saying, please send me this software. I'd love to go out there and I'd love to show you guys how to do this. I'm also going to talk about the Saratech Support website that we have out there. I'm going to review the flyer that we have for you the YouTube channel that we currently have. So anything that we currently put together, any type of training we're always putting out there, you know, tricks and tips and, you know, even the, the CES sessions that we do. Uh, there's also Siemens PLM communities that are out there, some different forums that are out there, NXCAD, NXCAM forums that are available. Now I'll take a few minutes and talk about our engineering services. So what is the support center? So you can see there, uh, I just did a couple of quick side slides here first. I'm going to talk about it, and then I'll get right into the, the, the portal itself. So you can see it's been completely new and it's personalized for the support experience. In the past, it was very generic. It looked like it was just a bunch of folders. Uh, so what they did is they incorporated everything into a very nice portal where it pro provides support experience for everybody. It's very powerful and focused on different topics. So you can see here across the, the different products that you currently have, and it will look different here compared to what yours is. So yours may only be, if you're only a solid edge customer, you may only see solid edge. If you're an NX customer or a team center customer, you're only gonna see those products across the board. Uh, also, I have not tested this out, but it is also mobile based. Uh, and we have been working with a couple of our customers because they want to have everybody have access to this new support center. So it gives them the opportunity to go out there and, and look at their knowledge base area. OK, or if they want to go out there and look for help for some training, possibly, because there is also the Accelerator Academy that is out there that Siemens has. So if you're ever interested about uh, any type of training that's available, Team Center, NX. Uh, Sim Center 3D, we have a, a big, huge database of training, and it all is, it's all linked together. So even if you go out there and you, you do a quick search on some of the knowledge-based stuff, you may see some of the stuff where it may send you to a little bit of a training. So once we get into the, the dashboard that we have here, you can see here, I've got across my dashboards, each product tile that I currently have is going to be here. And you can see here on the left-hand side, what is the latest downloads? What's the latest patches? So if I go out there and I look at my dashboard and I'm an NX user, it's going to tell me, hey, you've got, you know, NX 2011 patches available because I'm at 2007 series, and that is the latest and greatest series that we currently are at right now. But I go out to my dashboard and I see that there is a current patch that is available. Any support cases that you might have opened up. So Saratech is everyone's first line of support. So what we do is we have all our customers call Saratech for our first line of support. And then from there, we will, if, if we don't know the answers, we're going to reach out to the developers and say, hey, you know, I've got a, I've, I have an issue here. I cannot duplicate that issue. I'm going to open up a support case. 
And I may include that individual as a follower. So if he's included on it, he would see access to that support case as well. And you can see on the left hand, or excuse me, the right hand side. So we've got a new powerful search engine. So you can see at the top of the page, it says all of support. So I can also modify that. And if I wanna do a quick search only on NX or only Solid Edge or only Team Center, because I got an error message and I wanna go out there and do a quick search, I have that capability of doing that. We talked about the managed products. I can turn those on and off as need be. Uh, like myself, I, I probably have 30 products on my screen, but I don't wanna look at all 30 at once. I only wanna look at certain ones. I go into manage products here, I can turn those on and off as need be. Some of our on-demand training, if I had any on-demand training, it would tell me if I have a, a membership for on-demand training to Accelerator Academy. What are my different communities that are out there? All right, some of the comprehensive and personalized. So here, the, the new support center offers a personalized support experience. So you can see at the top of the page, I, it tells me my little initials. Uh, I think maybe I might even have a picture. And nowadays, everybody's putting a picture on those things. Uh, but the biggest thing here is I want to show you, and this is what I tend to do a lot, is I go into the NX dashboard because I am an NX guy. I came up through the ranks. I was a detailer. I was a designer. I was a design engineer. I came up through the automotive ranks, you know, back in the board days where you did things on boards and then we moved over to the computers and started doing everything there. But now I can go into this and if I, if I get an error message at a customer that calls me, I come in here and look at troubleshooting. And I look at that troubleshooting and say, hey, I see what this error message is. Oh yeah, I had the same, same issue with another customer. Then I go ahead and I, I can figure that out real quick and that customer is happy, okay? Uh, opening and managing cases, you know, you, there, you can manage your cases that way, but exactly what I stated earlier, come to support, we'll open up a case for you. If you cannot, uh, if we cannot figure it out, then we open up a case with Siemens. And let's go ahead. Uh, some of the, this is some of the notifications that you can turn on and off. So if you go to the top of the page and you select the profile there, it gives me the opportunity to go out there and say, hey, you know, I, I need to change my email address because I might have moved from company to company. I, I, I personally have even done this, where I moved from one business partner to another. I want to have access to everything I already had set up, okay? Or if I want to view the licenses on my site, I can see I have that as well, or I need to change a support site, or I'm having trouble downloading files. I can go out there and select these options, and it will put you into some quick troubleshooting or help panels, but at the same time, you can always call Saratech and Saratech support. Some of our easy registration. So when you get into the registration, especially with new customers, well, the first thing we do is we go out there and we register that uh, new customer, they get assigned a sold to ID. And that's what we call the same right here, a site ID. And if I look under my web key here, uh, the license file itself will have our information. So if I come over here and I look at my, my license file, this is what I'm referring to. Here's my sold to, here's my web key. And I did change this for purpose because we are recording. Okay, so now I can go into that website and input that information in, put all the information in of myself and my company in, in information. It will sometimes send me an email notification that sometimes this does take 24 hours to create. If you do not get it after 24 hours, definitely reach out to us because I'll send an email to Global, see it's Siemens at Global and say, hey, I've got this user, he's setting up this account, here's a sold to ID, here's this web key, uh, that issue, we get it resolved, especially with new customers, you know, we wanna push that through. But if it's an existing customer and you have an admin that's on site, you're a new employee, you can ask your admin to invite you, send an invite. So you can go out there and you'll get this little information panel down at the bottom. It says, here it is, here's the, here's the link, select this link, here's a sold to, here's my web key, and you have that access. And it put same thing, you put all your information in. Okay, once you're into it, then you can go ahead and do, this is your, you know, your main products here. So if I go into my specific product right here, uh, like they're showing here on Solid Edge, each product has a, has a tile. 
and that is shown on my dashboard. So this is where we can go in, we can look at our downloads, our troubleshooting. If I, this is over here on the right-hand side, the My Products, I talked about not seeing all my tiles, my tiles, I can turn those on and off. And then also once I'm in, what is the current uh, versions or I wanna only access one certain thing, I can also go into my products over here as well. So you got down here version 12 on the list here, but like I mentioned earlier, 2007 series is out right now. Version 12 is, we still have quite a few customers that are on version 12, but you know more and more people are moving forward to the new continuous release, which is very good. All right, uh, now we got a little demo here. So let me go ahead and bring over my, my web page, or this is my browser, it works with any browser. I currently like using Chrome a lot, but I've, you know, time from time to time, I go out there and use Firefox, or I might go out there and use Internet Explorer. It's not specific to any certain browser. Uh, occasionally, we do get a customer that calls in and says, hey, you know, I'm getting an error message. Uh, I just tell them, hey, clear out your cache, log out. And you can see here, I personally did log off for this session. So if I come over here, I can say get started now or I could type in sign in. But I want to hit get started now because I want to show you guys exactly what it would look like when I go into it. All right. It's running a little slow today and I'm on a high speed internet. All right, while that's loading up, we also have the Saratech support website here. So you can see here, if I go to saratech.com support, this is where I can go in there and I can specify a bunch of information. Uh, what is my description? What is my problem? But also what I wanna emphasize is, is right here, support at saratech.com. It's always great to send us, you know, pictures of what you're having, videos, uh, and then I can go, I can investigate and see if I can duplicate that. Even a lot of times I reach out to customers and say, hey, you know, I've got the similar issue, or I saw it at this customer. Can you send me that model? I want to validate that I have the same issue on my computer. Because even on my computer, I've got NX12, I've got NX10, 11, 9. I've got newer versions, 2007, 1953, 1926. I mean, I've got multiple versions on my, on my laptop, and I'm running multiple external drives as well because I need that space. Okay. Uh, here is also our phone number, the 949-481-3267. And I want to emphasize here, hit option three for software support. If you are one of our additive manufacturing people, you can hit option one for 3D printing because we do also sell 3D printers. And then we also have, we talked about the Saratech channel. So you can see here, here's our Saratech channel for our continuous education. Anything that we have recorded over the past couple of years will be on this website. So I emphasize, go out there and look at, there's a lot of good information here. Okay. I mentioned earlier, what are some of the stuff that's other things that are available? We have different forums that are available to us. So you can see here in NX Cam. Uh, I can go out there and I can follow things. I can do some research. I can ask a question on the forum. I, I have personally, I, I have customers that come back and say, hey, you know, Chad, I, I, I apologize. I just found the answer. I went out to the forum, posted my question, and then boom, I got the answer back right away. We as engineers, we go out there and look at this forum as well, but a lot of the developers will sit on the forum all day. And then as the uh, anything new gets posted, we get alerted, hey, there's a Here's an alert in the forum, NXCAD. Do you want to respond to it or go out there and look? So that's what's really nice about this. Uh, we talked about this Accelerator Academy. So this is our Accelerator Academy that's out there. If you want a training either in-house, we can do in-house training virtually, or we can set up a membership with training with the Accelerator Academy. If I guys like to do self-paced because I, I can't take a week off of work. We can set up training for you guys. If you ever want to go out there and look at this, uh, you know, please email me or email your sales rep. Uh, we could probably set up a trial for a couple of days so you can investigate and say, hey, you know, this looks good. Give me some pricing and give me a quote. All right. Let's go back to my support. Oh, it, did, it threw me right into it. I, I thought maybe it would prompt me to log in. So what it did is it, it, it went past that. 
So I wanted to show you, there was a login panel that I was showing you in the presentation where it prompted me to put, type in my ID and password. But like I stated in the presentation, you can type in your company info and then boom, you put me right in. So now I am an NX guy. Uh, here's my dashboard. So you can see here, as soon as I get on my dashboard, I see NX here. It's all. It's always going to be whatever I selected last up front. So earlier I was working with a customer. He has some technomatics and plant simulate stuff, so some robotic stuff. So I was looking at some uh, so software for him as well. Uh, Solid Edge, we have software and downloads. I was downloading that as well. So I'm always going on this website every day. Okay, so if I look at my NX version, once I get in my NX, here's a resource. So you can see here I've got you know, some getting started down below. I've got some community stuff. I have some knowledge-based stuff. So you can hear NX end of standard maintenance. So here's a little posting they must have put out here. Uh, let's see, license option files not recognized by server. So you can see there's some posting that people have put out there. But also, look, it also tells me, hey, here's a posting that just came out. Hey, latest release. If I want to be part of the early acceptance program where I want to go out there and test NX2206 beta testing, I could go out there and I could select that link and sign up for it. If you do want to set up for some beta testing, let me know. I can send you the link to get signed up as well. Okay. So the top of the page, you can see here I've got NX, I've got getting started, I've got my knowledge base, my my communities, but this is the biggest one that I like to use a lot. I use this every day, the downloads. I have customers that call in and say, send me a download link for this, send me the download link for that. This is where I wanna show you, hey, you can go right into the software, select the, the download, select what version I currently am on. Okay, right now we're at 2007 series. It says 2206 because I'm registered for the for the beta testing, that's why I have it. You guys probably don't have it if you're already access to it. But if I go out to the 2007 and it shows me, hey, 2015 is the latest and greatest patch right now. So that's where I would want to, I would, I could select this and it's going to go out there and say, okay, which one do you want? Do, do you currently have 2007 installed? If you do, then you want to download the MSP. Okay. If I am a new seat or new user and I want to do a full install, I would select this one, the one that says Windows NT, NTX 64-bit. Okay, so that is the full version. You can see it's even a lot larger, 10.7 gig versus 1.37 gig. So right now I think I'm at uh, 2011. So if I hit the back button, yeah, see right here, 2011. So that was the last patch. So I didn't even know that this was, uh, it just came out. If you're an NX user, there top right-hand corner, you see that little circle. If it's set up as green, that means you're at the latest and greatest patch. If it says red, that means a new patch is available. See, I have not started NX today. I was working on a couple Solid Edge and Technomatics customers this morning. So the minute I would have started NX, I probably would have saw that, okay? Any additional downloads? So this is where some additional downloads are at. I was working with a customer the other day and he asked me about the machine libraries. This is where it's at. The machine libraries are under NX, are under additional downloads. And then I can go to NX machinery. Here's my machinery library. Now this is where I can go out there and look at my ANSI standards, my DIN standards. Uh, here's for, There's the directions for setting it up my Great Britain, my ISO, my Japanese, my SAEs, okay, creating standard parts, you know, the best practices. So there's a lot of good information out here, okay? Uh, but also the knowledge base. So if I want to go out there and look at some of the knowledge base stuff, I can go out there and do some quick searching. Here's NX Open. That's getting a very, very popular. Guys going out there and creating simulations and automating a lot of their design. So you can go out there and do some quick searching, all right? Even getting started. If I'm getting started, I'm a brand new user, okay? Discovering NX, okay? You can go right into this and it will show me, see? It puts me right into some training information. This is what I referred to earlier. Managing your data, matching your NX interface, even some part modeling, starting with datums. 
This is training, step-by-step -step scenarios, okay? So this, is, this whole knowledge base area is very powerful, okay? I can go back in there. Uh, let's see, well, let's go continue on. Just looking at the time here. I don't want to take too much time for you guys. Let's go back to the presentation. But again, if you have any additional questions on the portal or the SEMA support, uh, also the SEMA support, I want to emphasize, we have a flyer here that is in the downloads. So you can download the flyer. So there's a little one pager that talks about the Saratex support but has the phone numbers, it has the email, it has our website out there, okay? And our YouTube channel, all that information is there in the flyer. Please download it, it is part of the presentation, okay? Let's go back into the presentation. Talked about the forums, here's the link up above. If you wanna take a snapshot, you can go into the forums and get signed up for that. But again, if you have any issues, post a question on the forum. You'll get some really good information out there, okay? There's our Saratech support. If you wanna take a sc screenshot of this as well, on the right-hand side, there's a duplication of our website. And then on the left-hand side is our flyer that I just posted. Here's, if you guys wanna take a screenshot of this as well, here's our YouTube channel. Me personally, I go out there and I type in YouTube Saratech and it puts me right to it. So it works out really nice, okay? Next, we get into some Saratech engineering services. So I just like to emphasize, every meeting I go to, you know, Saratech is an engineering firm. We're over 110 employees. We've got 65 engineers. Most of those are masters with engineering degrees. We're established in 2002, but we are an engineering house. We sell software, but we also use the software for our engineering as well. Okay, we're headquarters in California, but as myself, I'm on the East Coast. We probably have, um, out of the 110 people, I bet you half of them are scattered throughout the United States, but majority are in California. We are ITAR compliant, so we do register and we have training with the ITAR every year. So we get with the guys in DC and we do a full blown virtual training with those guys. We have experience with industrial regulations. So a lot of the FAA certifications that are out there, we work with a lot of uh, aerospace industries, automotive industries. I'm one of the automotive guys and aerospace guys, uh, even doing design work. So if you come back to, you know, come to Saratech and say, hey, you know, Chad, I got this new project coming up. I, I don't have the manpower for it. Can Saratech help me? I need a couple of guys. Yes, we can help you. We can set up a block of hours, do a time of material, and, you know, maybe 100 hours and you might need us for it. So we can do that for you, okay? Some of the entities down below, we work very heavily in the aerospace and defense industries. A lot of our top VPs within our corporation came from aerospace and defense, okay? Uh, even semi uh, semiconductors, uh, one of our top sales guys came from the semiconductors and electronics divisions. The marine divisions, I'm based in Florida. We have a lot of marine divisions in Florida. So we're always visiting those customers, helping them out, see how NX CAD or even the Solid Edge, you know, how we can help them design. Uh, I was just at a customer the other day with the NX CAM. They're actually using their, they were machining the hull of a boat. And it was really nice to see this 50 foot, you know, uh, hull sitting on a machine where it's being machined out. Medical de devices, we even have a couple medical device companies that we support, even right here in Florida, in my backyard. Some of the heavy equipment and industrial machinery, uh, a lot of the, all around the auto automotive area. Automotive is really big and, you know, heavy equipment, transportation, assembly lines, assembly designs. We get into consumer products and retails, the developing individual pieces. We can help them do that, even some surface modeling, some CAD modeling, helping with machine those parts, okay? We support many entities. And again, if, you're, if you need any help and assistance with engineering, please notify your sales rep, come talk to us, send me an email, Chad Evans or C Evans at saratech.com. I'll get you to the right people. And a lot of people know me personally, probably on this call, because I'm I'm a guy that's always been talking to a lot of our customers that are out there today. Some of our core offerings, 
So simulation and dynamic simulation is getting more and more popular, especially in the aerospace industry. So if I have a wing of a plane and I simulate that wing, how it flexes while it's flying, or how much load can it take before it snaps, that, that is what simulation is. Okay, what is the heat transfer? Maybe a thermal uh, transfer. If I have a, a fan blowing across electronics, like the Flow EFD products that we sell, what is the heat transfer? Uh, I saw a demonstration the other day where it was a Flow EFD sim simulation where the guy was sitting in a hospital room and we had the air duct coming off the ceiling at different locations and the doctor was sitting on one side of the patient and as he coughed, it went right into the doctor's face. Well, if we did a simulation and told the doctor to stand on the other side of the bed, he would be perfectly fine. So that's what we do a lot of, you know, different simulations out there. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, with the dynamic simulations, we want to find out what are the stresses, what are the loads. I mean, right now, this over the past couple of years, we have worked with 57 large complex assemblies, helping them do dynamics, helping them do large assembly works, doing machining and manufacturing. So you can see even there's a couple pictures here. This is one picture of one of our uh, suppliers that we were helping uh, help design and build and manufacturing out in California, where we stood, we stood up and subcontracted some of our current customers. So <clears throat> that's what we talk about networking. Network with Sarah Tech because we may be able to generate more business for you as you build the relationship with us. And then we get the, the digital twin where it enables Siemens to incorporate your team center, like your database features, the software solutions from start to finish. Uh, team center is a great tool for going out there and doing any design rework. So if I'm looking at an old design from a couple of years ago, I can do a quick search in team center grab that design at old design, make a few changes, re-release it as a new number. Okay. Uh, some of the notable takeaways today. So Saratech is your first line of support. Saratech is your second, or excuse me, Siemens is your second line of support. Uh, we do have customers that do call Siemens directly, uh, but you know, Siemens may, you know, basically tell you, hey, Saratech's your first line of support. Please call them first. You know, they will help you either way, but I just if you get a, if you get one of the engineers, he may say, "Hey, you got to call Saratech first because they want us to open up the cases for you and build that relationship between the three of us." Okay, submitting the support cases either emails, call or or our website. We've reviewed some of the Siemens Support Center. It is very large. I only touched on a portion of it, but if you ever want to do a one-on-one -on -one session, please email me, C Evans at Saratech.com. I don't mind doing any mentoring, any assistance. If you need to know what your sold to ID, your web key is, please reach out to me. I can get that information for you as well. Check our YouTube channel. There's a lot of great information out there, especially with Sim Center. Dan and Doe did a great job putting a lot of Sim Center training out there. And our Saratech Engineering Services. So if we can help you with Saratech Engineering, we will help you there. Well, I did mention earlier, we also sell additive manufacturing. So we've got Mark Forge printers that are out there. Mark Forge has a great, uh, you know, printers out there for adding uh, strengthening, some nylon, printing nylon parts, printing ABS parts, printing metal parts. HP, HP is great. So we actually was working very closely with the aerospace company where they have starting to print a lot of their parts now because they were, they were making plastic parts, gluing them all back together, at paying for labor. We showed them, hey, you should be printing these parts. So we, we put an HP in there and they're doing a great job. Big rep, we've selling a lot of big reps with a lot of large furniture companies that are out there today. Thank you all so much for attending. Thank you, Chad, great job and have a great day. Thank you. All right, thank you everyone. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.